There's a poem called Human Snowblower. So what that David Letterman's got a big white beard? I'm the human fucking snowblower. That's what my neighbor from Alabama said to me the other night. He said, you're a human fucking snowblower. And seriously, it was the nicest thing anyone has said to me in decades. It was five degrees outside, and I said, roll tide. He said, I'm an Auburn fan. I said, sucks for you, but really, I don't know a damn thing about the NCAA gridiron. I just know that I couldn't give a hoot about David Letterman's new Netflix series. Frankly, I think he looks goofy in his white beard. I want to write his PR people and ask them if he'll have me on his next TV special, the one where he has a stubble-free face, have me on to talk about the poetry of Erica Meitner, have me on to roll eggs stuffed with firecrackers down granite steps, have me on to chat about what it's like to be a human snowblower, and I'll say, have me up to Connecticut the next time it blizzards, and I'll whistle clean your driveway in no time. But then I realize all my fantasies are pathological. I don't want to be Dave's entertainment flunky like that Rupert the Deli dude. That was an exercise in, hey, let's use the Indo-Asian guy to boost ratings. Or not. What do I know? We are all good inside. I'm sure of that. My neighbor from Alabama knows that too. He's done two tours in Afghanistan, shot some people in the face, and the last time he got back from that part of the world asked me if I'd let his rescue dog shit on my lawn because we have some green space in the backyard and he doesn't. Swear to God, he said, we'll clean up after she poops her way back home. I'm out here all day blowing snow with my 30 horsepower shovel, and all I want to do is go inside to my living room and have my own talk show. Ladies and gentlemen, on this week's program, Dave Letterman and his goofy beard.